Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I'm Richard and it's Room Tour 2022. Let's get started. I'm going to start here with this classic poster designed by Drew Struzan. It is signed and numbered. Then I just go up this wall and here are a collection of Stan Solo creation figures. So awesome. And then we have this first design that Kenner was going to use. And then some Power of the Force 2 figures right there. All right, and then we'll go this way for some more Power of the Force 2 figures. And then up there, some framed uh, postcards. And that's a sticker right there. And then going down, we have the uh, Ralph McQuarrie concept figures. Looks fantastic. And then the Shadow of the Empire figures. From Revenge of the Sith, we have the Separation of the Twins. The Leia with the original Kenner design. Okay, over here, I framed some some of the original Kenner instruction sheets and the really, we really do care thing. It's that over there too, and more instruction sheets. Going up, we have a Stan Solo Creations. And then this from the Galactic Star Cruiser. You can only get this figure there. This is original Kenner vintage. And this is original Kenner vintage. This is a repro Boba Fett. This is the 30th anniversary release of Boba Fett. And original Kenner, original Kenner, and Power of the Force 2. And the absolutely amazing Empire Strikes Back poster. And my recent get the Ewok Battle Wagon complete Han Solo's Blaster. My original collector's case, you can see it's kind of worn a bit. I used it a lot. And then the land speeder, the Sonic land speeder. It's not functioning. And then we have down here the original Twin Pod Cloud Car. And this is Cloud City, but it's from Replicator Boxes. It looks awesome. And over there, I printed out a, a bit of Cloud City for this scene right there. Down here, the original Imperial Troop Transporter that is functioning. And Stan Solo Shadow Trooper. And back there, the uh, Chewbacca bu Bubble Bath bottle. No bubble bath inside. And uh, way back there, if you can see it, right there is the booklet that comes with the Imperial Troop Transporter. And all of these Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels collections. And then some video games and the candies, little candy containers. Okay. Uh, Luke Skywalker hanging on the weather vane. My Savvy's Workshop lightsaber. I was rearranging a, a bit and uh, I don't have a place for those right now. Uh, more Stan Solo goodness. Uze R2-D2. And this thing I got at the 99 cent store. Pretty cool. Another Stan Solo figure, this gorgeous Iconic Con Boba Fett. And then I framed some of this, the blueprints for the Jawa Droid Factory and some stickers. This is the original membership card for the Star Wars Fan Club. And those are the booklets that you get with the toys. And then there's the comic packs. And I got a, that's a, one of those customs, uh, silly card backs, Planet Alderaan with rocks inside. I have some 
those are postcards framed and more Power of the Force 2 figures. Right here, I got these two stickers kindly from Jeff Morlang. And here is Presto Magics. And let's get down here. So you can see, oh, here's some um, instruction sheet framed, another one framed. And I got some pins from Left Coast Graphics as well as from Nerd Matters. I like this one because it swings. Some great looking pens. C3PO's, this Pride Leia, Star Wars Celebration, and here's a mix of vintage and Stan Solo. Here's vintage, here's Stan Solo, vintage, Stan Solo. Just, just a wonderful mix. And Power of the Force 2 and all kinds of different figures. And vehicles. And card backs in, in the back there framed. And here's some more Stan Solo. It's kind of shadowy in there. You see these fabulous Princess Leia and Slave outfit from Stan Solo Creations and carded Iconic Con Boba Fett, Blue Snaggletooth, and then a Stormtrooper and Garindan and Ula. Just wonderful. Carded, framed. Well, there's more Stan Solo and carded, original carded. And this one works too. And more Stan Solo in my Star Wars Vault. I hope you're watching my series. A fan reads the Star Wars Vault. A co-worker of Gary's, my husband, kindly gave this to him to give to me. So cool. So here are the, some books that I have. Here's the Empire Strikes Back cards that I'm doing for my other series the cards of the week. I hope you're watching that too. A little book I have here. One of these original Revenge of the Jedi. Some magazines. My original 12. So awesome. I would really like the Rancor to be with my Jabba display. I just need to get better shelves. The original Escape from Death Star game. Then up here. Original TIE Fighter and TIE Fighter Pilot with comic books in the back. Another original TIE Fighter vintage. Then up here is BB-8 Snoke's Throne Room. And then way back there, Power of the Force 2 figures. Up here, more instruction sheets framed. And original vintage C-3PO collector's case. And this is from the original fan club. It's lenticular. I don't know if that works on camera. <laughs> and I put some of my comic books in here. As well as some of the more recent figures. Alright, and here is my cantina display, which I did a video recently and then down here more comic books in the back and my land of the Jawas display and extended with the Stan Solo Bantha it's fabulous and back there is an Ifamon from the next 17 all right and here's my Jabba's palace display with the Stan Solo Ula and I also have another Efont Mon from the next 17 that goes in Jabba's Palace. Whoopsie! That's another Stan Solo Creations. It's beautiful. And then Jabba's Dungeon. Looks awesome. Down here I have the, all three records for the story of Star Wars. Story of Star Wars. Story of Return of the Jedi, and Story of the Empire Strikes Back. 
And you can see I have the uh, Escape Destroy Death Star game back there. And Collector's Case Darth Vader and C-3PO. That's the one from the 90s. And I have this really cute Tauntaun, which makes the cutest, cutest sounds. And my DVD collections. And here's some more Empire Strikes Back collector cards. And I got these Star Tots at the Anaheim Star Wars Celebration 2022. Over here are uh, random pieces of my collection. Sorry about the shadow. But all of these original, original from my childhood, the soap from my childhood. Got these glasses from the Galactic Star Cruiser. They're beautiful. And I have the Imperial Cruiser, which I, I will be featuring that in an upcoming video. And here's some more vintage goodness with the uh, mini rigs. So awesome. And then up here is Darth Vader's Star Destroyer. More vintage goodness. And I recently found this book right here. The Empire Strikes Back at Star Wars Celebration. And here is this awesome Star Wars Obsessed sign from Shane Daly. Also known as Rusty Blades. Thank you so much. And then another TIE Fighter with some of those coins. Awesome. Up here is my Ewok Village display. Very crowded with my original at at original speeder bike it's missing a biker scout because currently i'm whitening it so all these original figures from my childhood collection the atst over there and there is friar tuck from dj daka <laughs> and then some more Stan Solo, the spirit of Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then my poster I've had for years and more vintage figures on card. Okay, over here, I decided to just take these random things and frame them. Okay, that is the Millennium Falcon from The Force Awakens. And then the at at from the 90s. And then the Imperial Shuttle from the 80s. With the Emperor and the Emperor's Royal Guard. And the Purple Dude. I can't even I can't remember what he's called. So down we go with the original vintage B-Wing. And Mouse Droid I got at Galaxy's Edge. And Y-Wing, A-Wing, Slave One, Millennium Falcon, and Skyhopper. Okay, here is the Dagobah with some of, you know, the instruction sheet, book. I had this since childhood and um, I actually used it, so it's kind of dirty. I need to maybe get to wash that. And another one, another piece I've had since my childhood, this Darth Vader necklace. A few things I got in Japan right here and just random collections throughout the year. Let's see. And then the Don Post Darth Vader helmet with some other random things. And the 8-track tape back there. And then the R2-D2 phone and the Darth Vader speaker phone and Wicket plush back there. This is a portrait of Leia given to me by my dear friend Jesse. And more Presto Magics. And here's that gorgeous box from for the Bantha from Stan Solo. 
and some puzzles. More Stan Solo goodness. And original patches from the Star Wars Fan Club. And uh, the Vintage Collection. The instruction booklet for Jabba Sail Barge. And movie cards. That I got that from the Fan Club. Vintage. Original Vintage. Original Vintage. And that was from the barge. And here we go. Here's a mix of vintage and current with the original vintage skiff and the mini rig. Here is Jabba Sail Barge. It's pretty awesome. And the absolutely gorgeous. Princess Leia from Stan Solo Creations and this Death Star droid is from Stan Solo Creations. That is the original vintage Jack face. Alright, and some coins here. Got this from Nerd Matters. Stan Solo Creations coins, it's just gorgeous. Metallic cards, figures from the 90s. Although this one is more, that's 90s. Yeah, that's pretty much 90s. Yeah, that's 90s. A lot of head makes, oh no. This is from the 30th anniversary. Here's my Hoth display. It's a mix of vintage and not so vintage. And some random items down here. All my vintage card backs. Chewbacca's Bandolier. The thermal detonators from Galaxy's Edge. The planets. This is from the Star Cruiser. The original Jedi card, playing cards. Some things down there. The Star Wars comic book. Escape from Death Star game, which is fun. And this Emperor's Throne Room, kindly gifted to me by Jeff Morlang. Thank you so much. And the Battle at the Starlight Pit game, so awesome. Wonderful mural up here. And then the TIE Interceptor, the model I created, and then the Rebel Transport. And this wall of carded Stan Solo figures. So beautiful. And this is from Nerd Matters. I love this. And vintage sand crawler with a mix of vintage right there and right there and Power of the Force 2 and the vintage collection. The land speeder. So this stand crawler I got at Disneyland. It is so awesome. I like to call this the Halloween bot because it's got those colors. Okay, down here some mix of droids. This is the radio controlled R2D2. And then down here, some cups. These vintage cups that I've had since my childhood and I actually use them. So they are worse for wear. And this Luke Skywalker I got in Japan. This really cool puzzle. Now this bunker, I really would like to get out of the box and display with my Ewok Village, but I need somehow to expand the, the display area so I can do that. Here is my Force lightsaber I've had since 1983. This Darth Vader was given to me by my dear friend Steve Marine. Here is my original Death Star Space Station playset. I had to get this myself back in the 80s. I had to put it on layaway to pay for it. But it's been with me ever since. 
Here's a mix of Vintage and Stan Solo. And there's another one. It's a Sith Ifat Mon from the next 17. So this is the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon. It is massive and it's so awesome. And my collection of plates. So my movie cards. Here's another movie card that I got from Jeff Morlang. So awesome. More Stan Solo goodness. More plates. And here's this awesome poster. I decided to frame some of the vintage figures. Here's some random figures. And then I have up there, Star Wars pop-up book, the movies on VHS, the Star Wars Galaxy cards. Here's my collection of large size action figures. The only figure from my childhood is the Luke Skywalker that I got in 1979. A bunch of my loose vintage figures on the display arena and the Jawas Droid Factory that was given to me by a friend back in the late 80s. And here is the Luke Skywalker with double telescoping lightsaber that I got from my brother recently. Original buttons, the Death Star World from the micro collection. Just random stuff, the tins. I I had this, I got the ProBot back in the 80s, but these other ones I collected recently. That one I've had since the 80s. Original VHS, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter with vintage Darth Vader. Hoth World that I've had since the 80s. It's complete. And down here, so I put these loose figures in movie order. So here's the prequels, the original trilogy, and then it goes to the sequels. And the Starlog Salute Star Wars back in 1987, which I attended. And then down here, I got this at Batu East. The original collector's case, the blaster rifle, the original lunch boxes, and Grogu, electronic Grogu, and this pendant that I chromatized. All right, well, that's Room Tour 2022. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. You can check out other videos here and here. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.